Wow. I'm sorry about this. Good morning. Welcome to vlog. Vlogmas day five. I'm gonna hate editing that. Oh, did I just lose my contact? Oh my god. I did. I'm trying to be productive. Let's try that again. Hello everyone, welcome to Vlogmas day five. I'm coming to you again with a big ol' you know, this is just my baseline look, unfortunately. Frizzy bun, frizzy hair, bare face, maybe some old mascara running down it. So, I'm getting a little bit of a late start today, like I slept in quite a bit because I was up a little bit later editing vlogmas and I wasn't going to start the vlog until I got all my ish together but that's not the point of vlogmas you're supposed to vlog what you're doing and it is Monday and I have a lot of chores to do and a lot of things to get together around here if I am up to it I'm gonna do some cleaning dusting vacuuming um, I have a lot of laundry to fold like a lot neglected everything pretty much since my surgery as far as all of that goes so it's been about a week and none of that has been done. Also, another reality in my life, I have to fill my weekly pill container. I'm on some medications. Not that many anymore. Now that I'm done with my surgery, I just take a blood pressure medication, my um, SSRI for my anxiety, and thyroid medication. But I'm adding more into the mix, of course, because now that my fibroid's out, I really wanted to get on a prenatal. So, uh, I got this one from Milani. I'd been on this before. In between my myomectomies, I was trying to get prepared for those to be over with and whatnot. So, I, I've taken this before. So, I'm going to be on it, hopefully regularly. They actually, like, had run out. They, they were like sold out for a while, so I have it like, so I'm like subscribed to it. And I got these last Monday, but I didn't, I, I was holding off taking them until I felt a little bit better. I don't know if that makes any sense. But it's Monday, it's a new week, we're gonna start all the vitamins. So I got prenatals, I got these balance capsules, they're kind of like a multivitamin daily supplement for brighter skin, clear complexion, and hormonal balance, which obviously I need hormonal balance because I... I'm a wackadoo. The prenatal also is targeted nourishment, healthy development, and immune support, which we all need immune support in the colder months, you know? And last but not least, I did get this Alani New Fat Burner. This one is a metabolism, metabolism, uh, boost your metabolism, promotes fat loss and energy and focus. So I have all my little supplements that I will take you know, I have to take all these with food, so I have to make breakfast. My coffee is done. The dogs are outside. Um, I'm just going to catch up on Vlogmas while I do all my chores, and I'll come back to you when I'm a little bit more put together, I suppose. All right, see you then. <laughs> all right, the doggos are going to open their advent. Day five. Can't believe we're here. It's getting serious. Oh my gosh. Oh, I found it right off the bat. You know why? Because it's a number and not a spelled out number. What? You must sit for your treat. Nelly, you must sit for your treat. Sit. Good girl. Okay. I just got exciting little mail here. Um, I got, like I, I was saying, I think on Vlogmas Day 1, I bought a lot of festive attire for this year. So I got this little crew neck from, this is Indie Collective. Mackenzie is the owner. She wrote me a little note. How cute. And then this is the one I got from her. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And it's comfort colors, which I love, I think. Oh, maybe it's not, but it feels like comfort colors pretty pretty color maybe tonight will be um home alone for the movie we'll see i i need to just watch more movies in general and then i got this one which i love 
I have a doormat that's this print. I love it. I love the Nutcracker, which is another, excuse me, movie that I have to watch. This one was from Serendipity on Etsy. These are both Etsy shops, so I want to shout them out real quick. What the heck? Oh my god. Okay, it's Serendipity shirt. So, you can look both of these shops up on Etsy. Super cute! Hey everyone, it's about 4 o'clock right now. I just had some snack. Snacks. I had those pretzel thins with that feta dip that we got at Costco yesterday. I really like it. I actually had some eggs this morning and I put this on my eggs. Well, not on my eggs. I put it on a wrap with my eggs and it was really good. Kicking feta dip. Why didn't I show you before I put it away? Dummy. Yeah, so that was yummy. Oh my god, I have an itch on my finger. I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfy. It looks really pretty outside right now. I wish that I got more done today, but doing laundry exhausted me. My hair looks so stupid right now. What is going on with the, one of the ugliest buns I've ever seen? But yeah, it's really pretty outside right now. Let me show you while I scratch my finger. I don't know why it's itchy. I don't know, it just looks like the sun is setting over here. If only it was snowing. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 46 degrees. <laughs> it's nice. it's like the 40 degrees. I cannot with the 40 degree weather. What, where are we right now? We're not in New York State. We're not in central New York. I'm dying. Uh, Brendan should be home soon and then I'll get dinner started. We're gonna just do another HelloFresh meal tonight. I ate some gnocchi, like, or not cauliflower gnocchi. I had some sweet potato gnocchi for lunch. I love that from Trader Joe's. It's phenomenal. And then we're actually also having gnocchi for dinner. I uh, knew we were having gnocchi for dinner because that's our last HelloFresh meal from last week. Let me know down below how long do you keep your HelloFresh meals for. I try to finish them before the next box comes. I get three a week. Might be cutting it back to two because Brendan wants us to make our own meals. He thinks it's a little too expensive. I don't because I like that we're not wasting ingredients. I like that I don't have to make a trip to the store as frequently because I spend way too much money when we go grocery like regular grocery shopping and I feel like we waste so much that way. So that's I think saved me a lot of money. And I think that it's a great deal for what it is and you get like a gourmet meal every night. It's delicious. But I think I'm going to keep it throughout December and then maybe in January we'll cut it back to like one a week and we'll just get like the healthier options. I mean they have lots of options for different diets and stuff but I've just kind of been getting whatever. I guess that's a little bit better. A little bit, not that much. And I'm wearing, oh I put this on. It's my outfit for the day. Very cozy. It's so, like the the graphic on here is super soft. I don't know what kind of vinyl this is, but it, it maybe it's not vinyl. I don't know. And I love the maroon color. So yeah, I've been doing laundry and that's been pooping me out. I'm exhausted from folding and bringing laundry up and down the stairs. I've, I mean, I've, I've been pretty okay the past couple of days as far as my pain goes, but... I feel like I might have overdone it a little bit with the laundry. I only brought one bushel down and one bushel up. It wasn't too bad. Also, do you call... <laughs> fun, fun question, I guess. Do you call laundry baskets bushels? Because in college I called it a bushel and my friends thought I was a wackadoo. But that's uh, another word we <laughs> used for laundry basket is a bushel. Like a bushel of apples. Oh, I just made it worse. It's ridiculous. I can't even look at it. I have more laundry to do until Brendan gets home. I'll start cooking once he's here. Um, we can open my advent. I think that's the next order of business. The next thing on the docket for the day. I've been watching Vlogmas all day, too. This is going to be such a long clip. 
Um, and I've made some new Vlogmas friends this year. I forgot to mention that the past couple of days. But I'm going to shout out their channels in case any of you aren't already subscribed. Um, Courtney, who is one of my great friends here on YouTube that I have um, partnered with many years during Vlogmas and did some collabs with in the past. She's just been my best YouTube friend, honestly. Um, who's always supported my channel so much. I honestly think Courtney's my number one fan. So yeah, Courtney recommended um, a couple channels. Or no, she recommended um, Jacqueline Gallant. Jacqueline Gallant's channel to me. And through Jacqueline, I found Disco Liz. So Liz and Jacqueline are... Um, two new, um, smaller YouTubers that I'm subscribed to this year and I'm really enjoying their Vlogmas. I'm actually watching Liz's, uh, Vlogmas Day 3 right now when she went to Bush Gardens. And it's magical. Something I've also realized that I want to start doing in 2023, because I, I kind of have done this throughout the years, but not necessarily every time I go on a trip I want to start collecting ornaments and I'll do like a whole tree next year just with ornaments from like trips or start a smaller one all my trees are at least six foot but I'm gonna maybe do a small tree of just like what Brendan and I have traveled because we do have a lot coming up in 2023 because two of my friends are getting married and one of my cousins and they're all out of state so I'm not gonna be in New York as much as normal we're gonna be traveling and I'm so excited to be traveling we're gonna be out in California down in New York City downstate area and then in Ohio for my cousin I'm looking forward to traveling and maybe collecting some ornaments on those travels and uh, Brendan and I just in general want to take more trips so I think 2023 will be full of travel and I cannot wait. Wow, that was really long-winded. So yeah, I'm going to leave Liz and Jacqueline's channels linked down below so you guys can go check them out because they're, um, you know, some, some new vlogmas that I'm excited to watch. Nice and long, interactive, smaller channels are my are my shtick. But I also, you know, have had my favorites for years and years and years and I just, I watch whoever does vlogmas that I'm subscribed to, I pretty much watch because it's my favorite type of videos. I love seeing what people are up to for the holidays. I've been talking for almost 10 minutes. So let's see what's in my advent today. I'm gonna be Lova because my box is right here. Again, it's still upside down. I haven't had Brendan move it. And if you're wondering why there's little bits on the carpet here, for, first of all, if you're new to my channel, this used to be my grandma's house. And my grandma actually lived here with us when we first moved in about 10 years ago, almost nine years ago we moved in. And a lot of this, like this, this kitchen table is still her stuff. Like a lot of the furniture is still hers. And like, we haven't done much to it because we obviously, this isn't our forever home. It's too small for us even right now. But we've just gradually made some little tweaks, changes. We got a new refrigerator. Um, Brendan painted um, the walls. We got new carpet in the living room, painted the living room. We've done some little things here and there, but the next order of business is getting rid of the carpet here in the kitchen because I have to vacuum it as much as I vacuum <laughs> the living room. And um, I try to pick up. It would be so much easier if we could just sweep every night, but... That's not the case with the carpet. So yeah, Simba just, um, if you didn't know, a uh, fun fact about this boy right here is he likes to shred paper <laughs> and he does it constantly. So even though I pick all the little shenanigans up every day, he finds floof in his toys or paper from the waste bin that he needs to make a mess with. So I'm sorry if that drives you nuts. It bothers me too. And with my belly right now, I haven't been able to pick up as much crap as I normally do. I digress. So it's day five. Day five is right here next to day three. Oh, what the heck? Oh no, my battery's dying. <gasps> we gotta reach in there. 
What is this? <gasps> a wine slushy. How fun is that? I should open this earlier. Three Brothers Wineries. Berry Pomeg. Oh my god, this one is so good. This is the one that I actually had when we went to Three Brothers last time. <laughs> Simba. The Simba, wine slushies are not for doggos. So I'm guessing I just put this in the freezer and it becomes... It even has a straw. Freeze for two to three hours? All right. I'm putting this in the freezer. Maybe I'll enjoy this later tonight. I'm definitely going to finish that bottle that I opened yesterday while I'm cooking because I, lo I love having a glass of wine when I'm cooking. It just elevates the experience in my opinion. I didn't know you could buy them in the little pouches. Like this is such a fun little gift idea for like a stocking stuffer or something, but I'm going to enjoy this right now. Well, in two to three hours. My camera battery died a little bit ago. Obviously, I got cut off there, and it's probably a good thing because I was talking way too much. What are you going to do? I have oral diarrhea. My grandma's always said that. Brendan's home, and I know it. He's home because it smells like fart. Mm-hmm. Wow, look at it behind me. Magical. It's actually pinning up some of the Christmas lights that fell, but I also have twinkle lights for the, the posts that he was supposed to do today, too. So I'm going to bring these out to him. We're gonna hang these up real quick. I'll show you the final product. It's dark outside. Sure is. It's almost five o'clock and it's dark outside. My tummy hurts, oh God. Tonight's time lapse will be brought to you by the Target Wonder Shop. We're putting lights on the beams. Also, just look at the moon. Oh, she is just gorgeous. What do you, Brendan, you can start without me. You don't need me. You can do it. I did the whole thing myself last year. You stop that. I also did all the lights on all the trees. <laughs> and you can't go around the pole? Make it tighter than that. I'm trying to, but there's so much slack. Well, you can do it. You're not a pussy. Mama raised the baby back bitch. Then the thing I married a baby back bitch. much better better with butter now we're cooking we gotta get the bush lit making me hello fresh watching Lindsay Hughes oh this is the current sitch having my second glass of wine I just poured it up I'm like I right, maybe I should vlog a little up diddy day to do oh timer okay guys oh look Noki is complete. Brendan is currently on a Jersey Shore binge, which I want to join him on, but he's just watching it without me. Whatever. All right, I'm going to pull the movie Advent, and we're going to watch it with dinner tonight. Well, let's see what it is tonight. I'm so excited. 20 days to go. We're going to be in the teens tomorrow, my guys. December 5th, the Santa Claus. Pew, 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 pew. My favorite movie of all time, period. Not just Christmas, movie of all time. The trivia for the day. Tim Allen has a criminal record. Disney has no ex-cons policy, but an exception was made in his case. I did not know that. I was a big fan of Tim the Toolman Taylor, so I'm not surprised. All right, this is great. Noki and the Santa Claus? That could be the name of this walk. So we got a winner, winner chicken dinner tonight. 
I've already seen this. I watched the Santa Claus twice this season, but gotta watch. I went to watch the whole trilogy again because they had that series out, and I was kind of watching it when I was in the hospital, but kind of not at the same time. <laughs> so we're gonna watch the first one tonight, maybe the second too. We'll see. We'll see how crazy it gets up in here. Crazy yeah. girl. Crazy girl. So another fun fact about me, I don't know if I just said this when I pulled the card, but the Santa Claus is my favorite, yeah I did, it's my favorite movie period, and my favorite Christmas movie, so I'll watch it any day, any time, it's this and you've got mail, my favorite movies of all time. Right Nala Bean? We love the Santa Claus! Right, Comet? What reindeer do you want to be this year? It's my favorite. I know every word. What do you rate the Santa Claus, the first one? The first one? Yeah. Oh, it's definitely a 10. It's a 10 out of 10, right? Yeah. Gets your heart warm and It's a million bajillion out of 10. It's my favorite movie of all time. Gets your teary eyed. Putting the second one on too, because why not? We're on a roll. Alright everyone, I paused the Santa Claus too because Brendan decided to go to bed and I decided to edit the vlog a little early. I kind of want to see if I can make the Christmas ornaments that I've been wanting to make and I can kind of update you guys in the morning on how that's going. kind of want to do a little crafting tonight so I'm gonna cut the vlog off here, edit it, and then see if I can get some of some Cricut designs going for the ornaments I want to make. So, wow, Brendan has a TV really freaking loud in there and I also would like to read. I started this at the beginning of November and I never finished it. My goal was to finish it by November 9th and I got about a third of the way through. So I want to kind of read this because I did buy some books for Christmas, you know, like Christmas um, themed books. So I kind of want to finish that so that I can read them. They're um, right here. This is my TBR shelf right here. The 12 days, the 12 Topsy turvy, very merry days of Christmas. So that kind of goes with the ornament theme that I want to do. So I, I wanted to read this book, and I have another Christmas book that I want to read. So I need to finish my Coho book because I don't like starting one and not finishing it. I read, I started a book called Blue Blue Bistro over the summer months, and I didn't finish it. And I've read. Two books so far this year. I read Verity and then this other book called In Five Years that was really good. But yeah. Which is better than last year. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 5. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let me know if you're watching any Christmas movies this season and which one's your favorite. Obviously today we came upon my favorite one even though I love so so many of them and if you didn't see my Christmas movie must see list go watch yesterday's vlog because I showed my top 50 <laughs> in, in there so yeah you gotta go check that out if you haven't I welcome anyone that's new here on my channel welcome I love having new subscribers so introduce yourself down below I would love to get to know the people that are watching my videos you guys get to know me so it's only fair that I get to know you I'm a little bit nosy I wish everybody vlogged that way I could know what everyone was up to <laughs> I know there aren't quite enough hours in the day and I'm trying to catch up on everyone's vlogmas that I want to watch but yeah, just let me know down below if you're new and uh, tell me a little something about yourself, like your favorite Christmas movie. I've been giving you guys many fun facts every day about myself that nobody's asked for. But yeah, everyone, that's all I gotta say. So stay merry and bright and have a good night. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone.